Hi guys, from Mount Aquaponics. This is Adam. I just wanted to do an infrastructure follow-up. I know it's, uh, I made it sound like it might be only a week, but you know, it's kind of tough to get the videos out and still run a farm. Uh, online broadcasting has not traditionally been a part of farming since mankind first learned to till the fields. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm still making time though. Anyways, yes, infrastructure is very important when it comes to growing indoors and growing to feed yourself and others, especially when you're growing to standards, uh, like, you know, retail and um, uh, restaurant and consumers, I mean, you know, you gotta have good food. So, you gotta have good gear. But it doesn't have to be the most expensive gear in the world. It can honestly be more affordable than you think, if you're creative. All right, so, here what we do. All right, these racks, as you can see, these are just your normal kitchen racks. These things, you can find them on Amazon or Target. Um, uh, you can pick them up used. You can pick them up from uh, restaurant supply stores, uh, used a lot of times, which is probably a little cheaper, but a little less convenient. I prefer they show up in a box at my front door. Uh, you know, it, that works for me, a little less of use on the vehicle. The lighting. All oh, the lighting. Now, the lighting here, obviously, as we can see, you know, supports them just fine, uh, as it is. But I'd like it to be a little more powerful in the future. But these are a very standard, uh, where are they? Ah, yes. 12 volt, yeah, white, waterproof LEDs. It right there. And that is just basically a match made in heaven. They're just warm enough, to be honest. Power consumption is really negligible. Um, they're easy to set up. I would suggest a super sharp pair of scissors. And of course, these tons of handy dandy connectors. The point is, um, three of these at a minimum, and I'll be honest, next time I'm going for four uh, per row, one every 4.5 inches. These are 18 inches deep. Um, I'm not going to go into height. I keep seven inches between the racks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's some cilantro. I left this stuff. This is actually a second bolt. Uh, it's coming up again. I harvested and then I decided oh let's just throw some water in it don't chuck it out yet it looks like there's still some life in it and there is it's interesting I'm allergic to cilantro ironically so ironic anyways that's not the point um, we'll be powdering this cilantro and selling it online oh yes we will because it's winter time and the restaurants are closing so it's time to get creative with uh, our financing initiatives yeah more cilantro. <laughs> yeah, how ironic. Uh, I'm really good at it, and now winter shows up, and ah, we're all shutting down for the season. No, it's all right. These things happen. That's why we adapt and get part-time jobs. Whatever. Ah, oh, yes, the failed beats. But yeah, oh, rental cat. Hello, rental cat. Where are you? Rental cat. Oh, yes, this is our rental cat. We do not have a litter box. We are not allowed to have cats. We do not feed him because he's on a special diet. But he comes over to our house and doesn't like his owners because they have other cats and he's older and he just wants to be loved. All right, so that, my infrastructure breakdown is basically kitchen racks and that accent LED lighting. Make sure it's the highest uh, white value possible, uh, six to eight thousand K preferably. I mean, ideally if you could get 10,000 K, that would be great, but those things can be a little, mm, a little pricey, but silence, not go below, five, I don't even use 5,000 K, make sure it's six. That's a, a temperature color value rating, uh, for LEDs that's commonly used. Do not get stuck with two or 3,000 K LEDs. Do not use the ones that are pure red with a blue one every two or three slots. Don't use those. Just, just don't. All right, it's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your money. 
At best, you're gonna have to deal with a refund situation. These true white, daylight, cold white, cool white. All right, those are the key. Those are good words to see. Um, warm, mm-mm, no, not good. Red, blue, one to three ratio, one to four ratio. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, true daylight. All right, so this has been our infrastructure video. Um, and I love infrastructure. So, you know, share, and um, we'll see you next time. Peace.